Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the TM30 specifically. For those who are unaware, TM30 is a reporting, specifically, it's an address reporting requirement for those who are going to be living in Thailand on a full-time basis. Now, it is also for temporary folks, but the vast majority of tourists are never going to even see or deal with TM30 because your hotel is going to go ahead and deal with that for you. So again, most tourists don't really need to worry about TM30. Now that said, folks in Thailand on a non-immigrant visa, TM30 is pretty pertinent. We've discussed TM30 ever since it was brought back to the foreground under the administration of Big Joke, uh, Surachat Big Joke Hakpan over at immigration. It really hadn't been done. I remember when I first got here 15, 16 years ago, you know, you didn't do a TM30. TM30 came about roughly about five, six years ago. We started seeing it being required in earnest. So now it's kind of an integral part of anything having to do with immigration. I thought of making this video after reading a recent article from the Patia Mail. That's patiamail.com. Article is titled, Patia Jomtian Immigration Bureau Launches New Service. Quoting directly, all other immigration customers, first of all, now report to Building B, to obtain a ticket number for further service. Depending on the specific service they need, the ticket number will direct them to the immigration main building, all visa extensions, for example, or to building A for TM30 address registration. So to provide some further context, and I urge those who are watching this video, go check out that article in detail. But to provide further context, Thai immigration has pretty radically changed their facility in Pattaya, and they've expanded it. As a result, the former protocols associated with going to immigration to seek a TM30 have changed. And now, they're, most notably, apparently they've expanded the air-conditioned units that people can use to wait to go ahead and file their relevant documentation. So that's definitely a good thing. But one of the big things to take away from this video is, yeah, protocols for dealing with your TM30 in Pattaya have changed. And now you go in, take a ticket, and you have to wait in a different place than perhaps was once the case prior to these upgrades of the facilities at the immigration office on Jomtian Beach. 